round two. Fight. There we go. Yes, I should update that. shape with this lately I know you can't so don't <laughs> I never asked you to <laughs> I get it I understand I won't be offended play next is it fun is bolt gun fun because that's the one i want to play next but it's a tough choice between that or guardians of the galaxy as the next two story games that i want to play i'm not sure which one i should and i think when i pick one of them i might be going back to twitch but i prefer youtube because i can play and it saves it to youtube and i have forever to go get it I don't have to like, <clears throat> I'm not like required to go get it immediately after I stream. <laughs> no nonsense, you love it. Okay, all right. Sounds like a good endorsement from Fritter. All right. Testing a button, but I'm not sure how this works. I've made the decision that I might attempt to do Cobalt Dragon reviews human playing video games. And part of doing that is going to require Jesus, I don't even know where these things go. It's gonna require me, I wanna, <laughs> so one thing that sucks about video editing is having to go through hours of content to pull out 20 minutes that you think are worth putting up. <laughs> what makes it easier, and that's actually probably one thing that Twitch does great, is I can put markers in the video. Except lately, their Twitch APIs for Elgato have been failing, so maybe you can't. But anyway, point is, my video recordings. Okay, so if I hit the button, is it gonna record? said it was overloaded consider turning it down what no sorry OBS I refuse Okay. 
Okay, so if I do that, and then if I do... Replay buffer saved. My video recordings replay. Oh, sweet. Alright, folks. I think we have a winning solution here. Okay, alright, anyway, sorry. Uh, I guess no Cobalt and Dragon intro because failing and doing uh, setup <laughs> before getting into playing um or streaming but it's been it's been a weird day um it's like doom and brutal doom had a baby <laughs> i mean it looks fucking badass i'm like really excited for it so i really want to play it um i do think the one thing i mean i love the style so i'm gonna love it it's gonna be great i do think it's a little too fast for space marines but but the speed definitely fits the genre and definitely fits the presentation of the type of game style that they're going for so I'm not going to complain. Uh, it looks amazing. And I'm excited to get in there and speed around and blow things up. Sounds, it looks, oh God, it looks like a blast. I can't wait to play it. But yeah, anyway. All right. Um, yeah, we're not doing cobalt and dragon things, I guess. Womp, womp. Yeah, fuck you too. Well, fuck you too. Yeah, well, maybe. It is a little faster space marines, but it's still enjoyable. Very yeah, exactly. That, that's all I'm saying is lore wise, it's too fast, but game wise, it's probably just perfect and amazing. So, and maybe that's one place where I might differ, where I might say it matters because usually my stance is lore matters but gameplay matters more so you should cater to the gameplay rather than the story because like people will remember a game because it was good gameplay they won't remember a game because it was good story in general i'm i feel very strongly about that because i'm sure there's a lot of good games i've played or sorry i know that there are games i've played where the game is awful but the story might have been great but like and the only people who think that the story was great were the people who were able to suffer through the horrible gameplay to get to the end to see the story. Whereas I just, the game, if the gameplay was horrible and I wasn't having fun playing the game, I wasn't going to finish it. <laughs> but then again, there is that Dragon Commander game where actually I think the gameplay is pretty, pretty fucking awful, but the story was that. Uh, anyway, we're all full of contradictions and hypocrisy. Uh, I think the general statement is true with, you know, that's the problem is like, I think that there's a lot of things in this world where the general statement is very true, but people will fight tooth and nail and die on hills for the, the, what are they called on a graph where it's like, yeah, here's the line. Oh, outliers. They'll fight and die on a hill for like the 1% outliers. And it's like, no. In a civil society, deal with the majority. The outliers we can we can accommodate for, but we don't need to break our backs for. Oh no, oh no, Chia's gonna get canceled. Oh no. That was certainly a spicy thing. All right, anyway, I hate to tell you this, but go away, Freya. I'm about to play games that you can't see. <laughs> I feel bad saying that because I like having you around. All right. I don't even remember where I was last. I want to be full of pizza, but instead I went to Sonic's and I got milkshakes. And they were delicious. Actually, it's offensive to call them milkshakes. They were blast. Although, I swear to God, 
they've reduced the size of the blast. The blast is not as big as it used to be. I almost 100% believe this. All right, let's see. Oh, that's right. Before playing again, I was going to finish the... Before streaming again, I was going to finish up the local challenges, and I didn't. Whoops. Well, that's a that's a problem. Oh my god. I might not be able to do this buffer thing I want to do because it looks like the computer wants to cry. Does the computer want to cry? Hey, Electronos. <laughs> Hello, Electronos. <laughs> and I call him with that, Derek. Oh. Yeah, you call him a Derek, but he looks like a bird to me. <laughs> That's the same side, just more ice. What? Where'd that come from? Nice. Someone to shoot at. What? No, don't shoot at me. All right. Um. What am I doing? I did decide I was going to play this today instead of Rogue Legacy because I was like, I need to finish this. This, this game needs to be finished so that I can move on to other things. It's falling into that, that, um realm of like I'm enjoying it but I'm also getting tired of it and want it to end oh man I made these too which I should probably do forgot about those what missions do I have I know he's a bird look his picture is a bird it's, which fits him he's an asshole exactly what his bird says all right, I'm not doing velocity because that's fucking races and I don't want to do racing. Um, I guess we're doing gang wars. Yeah, let's do gang wars. Sounds fun. Although, I think I am gonna go and do... Wait, is this a race? That looks like a race. Gang wars is over here, isn't it? All right. But I am, I think I'm gonna go, let's let's try one of these high risk areas. Let's see. GMB reinforcements on site. Enemies are randomly plus one to plus two levels high. Okay, that sounds really hard. Enemies regen slowly, that's fine. Explosive deaths, that's fine. Every time an enemy is destroyed, all other enemies present are healed by 20%. Okay. All right, I should probably remember how this this guy works. So we've got, if I recall correctly, okay, that's lock. Oh, that was using a nanobot. Okay, and those are the the skills. Oh, there's a, a racetrack thing. Okay. What, what skills do I have? I haven't played this in for freaking ever. Uh, ship. We've got our hook. And poor old Nano restores 70% of armor damage taken in, in the last 16 seconds. Okay. And then, oh yeah, and a front shield. Forgot about that. Reflex block shots back at attackers. All right, wow, 19 seconds of front shield and a 23. Oh, I bet the 23 seconds starts right after it ends though. Um, okay. I think R changes my secondary, yep. And then I think my weapons are set to numbers, yep. Okay. All right, I think, I think we're ready. We're gonna try this. That was not the right button to hit. I try to be less of one, less of a bird or less of an asshole. <laughs> Explain. <laughs> no, you don't have a clutch.
Well, dragons can have clutches too. Birds have clutches, dragons have clutches. Everybody has a clutch. Look how bright that sun is. Oh, there's a research station. I bet that's cool to go to. I think I've been there. Jesus, I have to do six location challenges. Wait, did I pick the right? We don't want to go to that one. That one's got really high level, really annoying things to fight. I don't want to fight really high level things. The gunship has a clutch? Oh. Well, I... Okay. All right. I guess birds, dragons, and gunships all have... Similar things. <laughs> they all three have clutches. I didn't know... I didn't know, uh... Oh, fuck. Darn it. I was hoping... Come on. Get close enough to the rock. No, 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 come on, close enough. Get close enough to the rock. God damn it. See, I don't know about you, Freya, but when I'm playing, I got tons of energy, so that's why I kind of boost all the time. There we go. All right. Now, I don't know. Oh. That was the wrong one. I should probably like... What are we combining? Dragons, gunships and birds? Well, I think you can combine guns and birds I mean, dragons have things for cars, so I guess I don't see why they couldn't have things for uh, gunships, too. I think Kiki would have problems with this. She would, she would not be impressed. Whoa, what was that? Oh, that's right. These guys explode when they die. All right. I want to shoot, like, there. It doesn't look like it did. It looked like it tried to. Oh, look at that guy. He's got like shield things all over him. These guys are like really slow. Oh, what? Did it start me over? No. Okay. Apparently I went out of bounds and it was not happy with that. Grab it. Grab it. Oh. Probably went a little too far away. I got a little overzealous about getting far away. Draco, hello! Dragons and gunships? Wait, would you like to start one, Freyr? <laughs> ah. Oh, 
There we go. Nice. Oh, those are little drones. Oh, geez, that one got real close. Actually, this is really easy. Actually, probably not exciting to watch at all because it's so easy. Where is my gauge for? Oh, there it is. I was trying to find the gauge for. My ultimate being filled up, which is not filling up very fast, I've noticed. Poppy, poppy. I know a lot of people who would dragons and gunships would be a thing and, and I mean everybody who probably is in the dragons and cars would be into dragons and gunships like come on seriously oh actually I don't have the I didn't pick yes. <laughs> so yes if I had picked the right adjustment I could totally grapple onto them and swing them around or or swing me around them I actually don't know how that works but i don't i didn't pick that trait for god damn it i hate these shields so much there we go you just gotta get like under them if you can get under them then you can slap them around bad what's bad you have full shields and everything why are you saying this is bad come on i'm hitting him die there we go big gun nah the other one's the big gun but it's big on elect it smack shields it doesn't smack um oh fuck well Oh wow, I actually got that guy. I didn't think it would get him. This is easier than I thought it was. I don't know why I felt like this was gonna be a really tough warm up. I'm really sorry. 
Oh, uh, this is gonna be like, oh my god, Geo's gonna be getting his ass handed to him and like dodging things uncontrollably. Oh, this guy's gonna hurt. Please get away from me. No, 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 no. Also, who is hitting me with a lot of shots? I need to get the cold off of me. No, wrong button. Oh no! No! Has a slippy fox? It has a fox. Oh, a slippy. I'm like, yeah, that thing. Why can't I think of it? Star Fox. Actually, there is. Oh, but he hasn't popped in yet. Um, but yeah, there's a little guy. His name is. I forget what his name is. It's like Emil or something. I think it starts with Ellie. His name is Ellie. I guess he's kind of like Slippy. Ugh. All of these nerds. I wish I had like AOE bombs or something that I could throw. There we go. Oh yeah, boss time. Where are you? gonna die so fast where are you there you are Throwing bombs at me, you're dead. Oh my god. That was easy. Blueprint attained. I don't even know what I acquired. Okay. Well, that was easy. Um, riveting long range gameplay. I know. It's a little boring. Sorry about that. Um, but the problem with this. I have an issue with these missions because they're kind of neat, but most of the time they're really frustrating because it's just here. Here's 20 spaceships in space, all shooting you all at the same time. Deal with it. And it's like, oh, my fucking God, <laughs> this is like not OK. All right, let's go do story missions. That's more fun. It's more fun for stream, right? Hey, Drago. At least I won. Ah, yeah, it's true. Spider ship, spider ship does whatever spider ship does. It flies and grabs onto asteroids and slings itself around. Oh, so something I did do. Okay, so part of the reason why I was a little late to stream today, I 100% signed up for Warhammer TV. In the U.S., it's only $6 a month. And I was like, I love Warhammer stuff a lot. <laughs> so, so I think I'm going to do this. I don't have any regrets yet. I watched one movie so far. It was amazing. I see them. Looks like they're just approaching. I forgot what we're doing here. Those are quite big fleets. 
Oh, that's right. We've got the ice people and the fire people who hate each other. I remember this now. Yeah, let's just watch them fight each other from the asteroid here. We don't need it. the long-range dishes Commander Ming Yun spoke of. There are four in this sector. Good. Mark the coordinates for me. Just need to watch out that no one sees me. Yeah, exactly. You need to get close enough for me to apply a wideband frequency jammer. Done. However, I have left open a back channel should you wish to listen in to live comms from the battle. Uh oh. Sure, <laughs> that might be entertaining. Oh no. These guys do all sorts of ice you and fire will die puns. For what you have done. It's only you fools who die today, you deranged merman. I was willing to let the past lie, but you just couldn't resist taking a cheap shot. Just keep telling yourself that. Right to your grave. So wait, where is the next one? Oh, there it is. Right? No. Wait, we already jammed that one, so where is the next one? Oh, maybe we didn't. You get that jammer uploaded? Yes, and I am continuing to tap their lines. Your losses are becoming too much. So are yours, Admiral. Maybe you should have thought twice before throwing your bombs our way. I've never thought twice about anything. <laughs> okay. Um, Warhammer TV, it's a streaming service for Warhammer related stuff. Not even 40k, it's got fantasy in, in, in there as well. Um, so, so yeah, so if you like this thing, and it's got animated cartoons, and I don't mean like one offs, there's like a series called Hammer and Bolter that I want to start watching. I watched one called Iron Will, which is really kind of fun. Um, basically, Imperial Guardsmen fighting off dark, fighting off dark Eldars, and typical Warhammer things happening within that whole thing, which was actually kind of really cool and lore heavy, which was fun. Um, no, it doesn't have 40,000 channels. <laughs> it barely has, it barely has 10 series. It also has a bunch, which probably doesn't matter to most of you all. <coughs> it's got tons of channels for like, actually I was having a lot of fun watching battle reports for different games. Um, so, I, cause I was curious about how Kill Team works as a game. And um, Kill Team looks like a fun game to play if I if I had people around me to play with. Um, but then yeah, then they've got some series. They've got a couple of series, not many, and, and some thirty-minute movies. And the movies are good. Well, so far, the ones I've watched. Spare your men additional losses and surrender. Especially not to someone who steals our tech. Uh -oh. As if I would ever dream of acquiring your ill-begotten ordnance. Here with the lies again. It really is pathetic. I know it was your people. It is your people who lie. You wouldn't know truth if it hit you in the face. Hive, I don't like the direction this conversation's going. We need to get that last dish jammed fast. Uh, yeah, because I think the person we're working for is the one who arranges for them to steal tech. If I remember correctly. Yeah, the same up. Yeah. Mm hmm. Last one down. <laughs> I mean, it's a video game. You can't take, you can't expect them to do reality, right, Electronus? I'm telling you, we didn't attack. Damn it, Hive! How are they still talking? There appears to be one remaining comms dish, but it is very low frequency. I cannot locate it. Scanning. Scan faster. Come on, Zealous! I know it was you. 
Your signature bombs were planted all over our base. The bombs that were stolen by you. Are you kidding me? Why the hell would we steal your bombs to bomb ourselves? Something's not quite right. Uh oh. I'm starting to think we've been duped. Yep. But who? You've been hoodwinked. Everyone. Scrap. I think we're screwed. Yep. Hey boss, I'm picking up a bogey. He's been watching us this whole time. No, I haven't. What well, are you talking about? Admiral, what do you say we give them a warm welcome? Oh no, let's not. Oh man, you guys are gonna regret this. I'm already telling you that. Alright. What what is this music? This isn't space music, this is Oh jeez. What the hell are you playing at? Ow. Just making sure none of you leave here alive. <laughs> wow. I'll sooner see you burn to ashes. I'm brutal. Your weapons have little to no effect on this ship class. Really? You should consider focusing on smaller targets. Oh, are you yeah, kidding me? Right. You're gonna play that? Oh, that is bullshit. <laughs> I like wreck those things. They're like, nope, sorry. All right, let's go. I have no plans that involve dying right now. Bye, all of you. Damn. Ding. Damn it. I don't know how much more of this the ship can take. What do you mean? <laughs> I'm doing fine. <laughs> all forces, cease fire or prepare to be eliminated. Thank John, you came. Luckily for you, I reconsidered my stance on this matter. It would be wrong to abandon you after what you have done for us. If I cannot save one life, how can I guarantee the lives of all my people? That's mighty big of you, Mingyun. The coalition. Mingyun, you were behind all of this. You tried to deceive us. Correction, Balakin. Oh, fuck. I'm too full. I got too much shit. What did I decide that I was going to evaporate? Oh, I got tons of these. Like, I can sell those and make money off of them. Do I have a better? Nah, not really. Yeah, nothing here is better. Shit. Ooh. Nope. Not better than what I got. All right, I guess we'll start. We'll dismantle the cheapest. No, I don't want to modify. How do you dismantle X? Oh, I have a lot of shotguns. All right. I did deceive you. You have both already lost enough of your firepower to cease to be a threat any further. So, why don't you back down now with what you have remaining? Never. You're going to pay for your trickery, woman. Then so be it. Brace for immediate annihilation. Everyone Wait. attack. Leave no survivors. Can I not hurt this those you? some melee. What do we get ourselves into this time, Hive? To maintain what little sanity I have remaining, I ceased questioning these situations long ago. Can I not hurt this guy? I'm chucking like cruise missiles at him. Can I hurt this one? No, 
I can't hurt them. Well, what am I supposed to shoot at? I want to help the coalition. Oh, don't let me fail this. I don't want to fail this. Ow. Ow. Well. <laughs> okay. Uh, problem. All ships come to me. Oh. It's you again. You're the jerk that stole our bombs. What the hell? I Hold on. I have to dismantle some things, as was discussed in chat. Give me, give me a moment, bad guy. Not only must I dismantle some things, but I must dismantle cheap things. Oh, that was really cheap. What was that? You playing at? Just making sure none of you leave here alive. <laughs> I'll sooner see you burn to ashes. Wow, it was so much better the first time around. <laughs> when I actually murdered everything in one shot. Damn it. I don't know how much more of this the ship can take. My, my ship is fun. Look at the I love how he says that and it's like His ship is like it has it doesn't even have shield damage. And it's like what the fuck are you talking about? Okay, what am I doing? Where is... Where are all these guys fighting? I don't understand what I'm supposed to do here. Defeat the outlaws. Like, like if I'm supposed to defeat the... Capital ships... Like, those are easy enough to do, but they won't let me damage them. those laser beams because they're really hard to locate where they are coming from. your target. Escaped. 
Let them go. Their forces are diminished, their peace pact is dead, and they have been reminded of the Coalition's strength. They won't bother us for a long while. Damn, we... we actually did it? You did it, Adam Roslin. None of this could have happened without you. That's right. Still not sure if there could have been a better way. Oh, it me. was dirty work, but necessary. Tell Alec that his children will forever have a special place with us. And that he is welcome to pay us a visit. His past indiscretions are forgotten. He'll be very happy to hear that. Travel safe. One more thing. Oh. We have a particularly high-powered item here, which we could never figure out what to do with. I think you might find more use for it. Oh. A token of our appreciation. Wow, what is it? I think it's... Layover loot from our outlaw days. We had kept it as a gift for our best proven pilot in the field. But since I guess you're it now... Thanks. If it's what I think it is... I can't see it because they blurred it out due to the reward. God damn it. It's annoying. There's a... Uh, we're looking for items and parts of some ancient spaceship that apparently got stolen and spread all around the galaxy through different different individuals so hmm, i'm guessing it's that <laughs> oh god we're dying at 100 percent shields i know it's so horrible this person's too good he's not losing shields fast enough oh no we're going to die oh. i've only had two more guns i know but i like having free missiles free missiles is kind of awesome Uh, it's actually really interesting how this game makes every ship kind of interesting. Um, I actually really want to play the other ones. I think it's probably one failure of this game is that it makes it really hard for you to kind of play all of them and figure out what you think is cool or not. go and then oh that wasn't I was hoping okay the reason why I did that was because I thought that might be a location challenge apparently I was wrong So I guess let's check our inventory and see if there's a gold item in there. Because if there is, then that's that's what we got. And we didn't get a story item thing. Which I guess would make sense because that was a side mission. It would be really awkward to put like a main mission item in a side mission. Alright, let's check it out. Yep. Oh, here we go. The Pigeon Stare. Wow. Uh, who would I want to put that on? Like, both of them are really good to replace. After hitting the same target for two seconds, the beam overloads and damage is increased by 30%. Destroying the target during this phase restores 50% weapon energy. Wow. Oh, but its range sucks. Right? Uh, so let's replace the short range thing. What? You can only have one legendary item equipped at a time? Are you kidding me? Only tier four ships can have two legendary items? What? That's a thing? That's lame. Ooh.
wait. Holy hell. That's actually really good. Oh. The energy damage reduction sucks, but the other bits of that are really, really good. Um. Well, son of a beeswax. That's lame. Yeah, we're gonna get out of here. Where am I going next? So... Right. I do have a beacon there. There is a shop here though, right? Chip dealer, jobs, and shop. Yeah, so let's just go there. Although... I wouldn't mind going back to the main base to drop this gold item off because I kind of want to use the gold item. Eh, but it's a beam weapon and I'm not big on beams. Space is infin infinite, infinite. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> now I've been in Neos. I do this now. Because <laughs> I know what it looks like in Neos and it makes me giggle. And now I do it in other games and it's like, oh yeah, but oh, I don't have a head that I'm moving around. Oh, whoa, it's rotating. Oh, that was the other game I wanted to get. Okay, so I have three games I'm thinking about. Guardians of the Galaxy, Bolt Gun. But I also said, and I do, and I'm honest about this, I want to play RE4, the remake thing, because I think that would be a lot of fun. I think people would enjoy that. I know I would enjoy it. I, I thought I, it was the one on GameCube, and... That's the only RE I've played, and I remember enjoying it quite a lot, so I thought it was a pretty pretty cool game. Energy Sphere Socket, Power Core Socket. Power. Oh, man. There's... What is that? Power Core Socket. Heat Sphere Socket. God, there's a lot of... This place is complicated. I don't know how I feel about it. RE4 is good. Yeah, I know. Coalition HQ, have a nice day. Okay. You guys really went in for customer service after you went mercantile, huh? <laughs> well, sure. We don't want to go back to the way things were before. Nobody wants to do that. <laughs> um, yeah, RE4 looks fun. Um, I think I would enjoy that. All right, so as per usual, they don't have anything I need. Let us go. Oh, that's what I wanted to check. Okay, so I have a, I do have a bucket load of blue things. Maybe I should, right, I dismantle blue things. If I don't use blue things, I dismantle them. I'll dismantle them until I get about 300 of them. And then I'll start selling them. Um... Oh, and I can dismantle them here. Okay, so dismantle blue things. And sell green things. I'm trying to save up for when it happens. I want the really big, fancy, cool bomber ship. But I don't want to give up on blue materials because those are kind of important.
What do I keep? Oh, I keep those. Okay. Ooh. Sure. I'll sell those. I kind of want to sell these because, like, fuck them. I'll be fine, though. Can I put more in there? I can. Nice. Alrighty. Well, we're good to go there. Nanotech. How much do I care? Nanotech will also repair armor for half the amount. That might actually be a good thing to have. What else was I trying to do? Oh, you. I don't care about storage size or hangar size. Ship dealer. I care a shit ton about, but particle modules. Yeah, you guys never, never have anything that I need. Why? Earthwine. It's really expensive here though. Missions. So I guess we're doing this one next. I feel like we're going to discover the exact location of the common. I knew that we needed to act fast in order to stop the mining fleet and prevent a new war. <coughs> Called Felon Pango, who refer me to an associate who goes by the name of Ghost, who is in the possession of a powerful malware device that would be a big help in stopping the fleet. I managed to track down Ghost in the Drake system, and he agreed to help me with his malware device in person. Dock at home base in Rodia 2. Okay. Too many things for small Dirk bring, but Chio, we like you in one piece. No? Well, wait, what? Hold on. Too many things for small Dirk brain. What is too many things? Or is that what RE4 is, is too many things? I think One Piece is the best way for Chio. Chio is best in One Piece. Oh, they want me to go back here. Boo. Chio is best in one piece. Chio is better making more pieces of other people. There we go. No, I didn't know how to put that. Oh, it's still wrong. <laughs> I was thinking about getting Battlefield 2 because I wanted to play games with you again, Frere. I just don't have anything. I've been playing Hunt Showdown with a friend, which has been a lot of fun. Um, I just want simple, stupid, shooty games. Things where I don't have to think and just run around and shoot things. Oh, yeah, I did. That, yeah, that satellite was complicated. It had a lot of pieces to put back together. Whoa, what was that sound? I see a lot of signs suggesting this is a contested hotspot. There we go. Oh, that was exciting. Calibrated penumbra. I'll take that. <coughs> I forget where the... Is it up there? Yeah, it's up there. Wow, this place is... Does this have a challenge? I wish I could tell if the location had a challenge or not and i think you can because it'll say in the top left what the challenge is but
Yeah, is it like 20, 40 something that you all play? That is amazing. So far as a recently evolved primate mind can experience it, I suppose. Shut up, AI. I'm smart. Hey, everyone. I'd like to introduce you to Ghost. Pleasure to meet you all. Nice to see some pretty faces for a change. He is in possession of a mainframe disruptor, which we are hoping to use to ground the GNB mining fleet. The idea is to cause enough chaos on the Vesna mining colony so that Blakemore can't move on the Comet and Commissioner Hawk can stage a lawful intervention. Ghost and I need to do this ASAP while the elite squad are out of the system. It'll be a quick in and out operation with only automated defenses to worry about. Sounds audacious. Audacious is my middle name, sweetheart. You call me sweetheart one more time and I'll... <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Don't so, you uh, in the teeth. I should explain, Ghost. Uh, Delia here is quite handy with a trank dart gun, so I would stay on her good side. Yeah. Wait, none of this clarified anything for me. Catch me up here. I'm still really confused. I like... Our operation is about protecting the people who live in the DMZ, Ellie, including your whole family. If war breaks out, a lot of people would die. And all just to make Blakemore more powerful and untouchable. Okay, I can agree that sounds bad. I took a look at that disruptor, and it seems I'll be able to tweak the cooldown without a problem. Not entirely sure for how long it could keep a ship demobilized, however. Thanks, Ben. I'd like to ask you all to stay on high alert while we carry this mission out. Keep an eye out for G&B scouts. I'm not quite sure whether they know where we are, but we need to keep a low profile anyway. They appear to be stretched thin, but they're not a spent force yet. I believe the majority of us here want to see crisis diverted. Thank you, Adam, for your efforts. This will all be over soon enough. I'm pretty confident of that. Yay, confidence. I hate it when it says it has perks available for me, but they're just not the perks that I want to have. No, oh, I found one more of those. Um. Alright, crash and burn. Go to Vesna Mining Colony in Zarkov. Oh, we get to go see the religious fanatics again. Cool. Hey, Ben. If there's any reassurance I can offer? After all you've done for me, you should know that I got your back. I just don't relish the idea of something happening to you before I get a chance to repay you. I would never expect anything in return between friends. And, uh, about the whole clone thing? It's all good, Adam. Relax. Yeah, I was surprised, but I had a good think about it. It doesn't change my view of you in any way. I've already got Eduardo up and running again, Cal is happy, and Delia has a good handle on base management at this stage. That's all very encouraging to hear. Yay. Okay, Zarkov. Oh, no, wait. Zarkov isn't the fanatic. That's the... Kait Nebula. Why does that have... Kiki, hello! How are you? From one place to another in an instant, and unscathed. Who knows what havoc this is doing to your microcellular structure? Oh, it's fine. Just a couple brain cells. It'll be okay. I don't need to worry that much. Let's see. Oh, I love this area. This place is so cool. Most of the systems in this place are really cool. I love the clouds with all the... Because it's actually a nebula. It's not a planet or anything. So it's kind of neat. And this whole place is like a giant... It's a solar system in... In production. Which is kind of fun. Oh no, raid not go well. That's no fun. Should be able to help 
re-establish that encrypted link to our guy on the inside. Hey, Tammy, you read me? I've been briefed by the Commissioner, and I'm standing by. You know what to do? We'll tackle the surface fleet first, and then you'll let us into the hangars. And, uh, it's nice to hear your voice again. At least now I can act like myself around you. We need to act quick. I think security might be on to me. I'm worried they might suspect me after your last visit, and that my movements have been monitored. Not I understand. One. The Commissioner will be here shortly, and you'll be in safe hands. Okay, so wait, what am I doing? Oh, I'm off to talk to her. Got it. Or wait, do I have to follow her? Bring down shields of locked targets and use malware. Destroy 50% of all turrets and missile silos above ground. Okay. So hold on a sec. Let's see. Oh, I see turrets, actually. So what is this? Oh, that's a mining barge. Is that not the thing? No. Okay. Those are all things that can be blown up down there. So the reason why I'm not blowing up everything I see is because some things are like, be careful about blowing them up. Because if you do, then you're going to start fights everywhere. I don't really understand what's going on, though. Bring down shields of locked targets. Are those locked targets? Oh. can't hack them. Bring down shields of locked targets and use malware. So what's a locked target? Or do I follow her and then maybe she'll block targets? Yeah, I'm scared to shoot the turrets yet because I know once I shoot one of them, they'll all be angry. But maybe I need to. I don't know. Let's see what this person does when I get close to him. Okay, so she doesn't do anything either. Okay. I guess... Where's the turret? I saw a few. This is gonna get really bad really... Last time I shot a turret by accident, like, it went really poorly really fast. Hence my hesitation. All right, here we go. We're on an attack! Scanning intruders! Yeah, party time! Fire away! Hey, take it easy. The objective here is to ground the mining fleet, but we don't want to hurt any civilian miners. They've got nothing to do with this. I'm good with that. You just bring down the shields and I'll do the rest. All right, well... Suspicions who you're working for. You'll find out soon enough. Hey there, buddy. Oh, a pink item. Okay, can you There we go. Seems to be working. Shame we can only do one at a time, but this is still doable. It's a cinch. On to the next. Oh, 
your missiles. But I know you're no better than any mercenary. Name your price. I will not even entertain the idea. Ow. At least if there's anyone on board, it's a soft landing. We have detected the activities of a saboteur. They're onto us. Better hurry this up before they can mobilize. Oh, I've got seven seconds before I can do it. Fuck. Ow! It's a good thing the elite squad aren't here. Hey, man, don't be tempting fate by even mentioning their name. That's a jinx. Well, jinx or not, Blakemore probably has got eyes on us now. We best watch out. I love how they just fall out of the sky. You have that Roslyn arrogance, all right. If only I could harness that loyalty and obedience from you also. There's that Roslyn name again. You guys certainly get around. I can't get into it right now. There we go. Ow. And I wish I were playing Star Wars. Going through the trenches. Woo! <laughs> Just dodged that one. Alright, so we did 50% of the of the uh So not cool. Ping pong off the walls. All right, let's go get the other. <sighs> Welcome back. We were talking all about you. You're mean, Electronus. Shouldn't hope bad things. Why does everyone hope bad things for streamers? <laughs> Ow. Ow. That was all of them from what I can see. So now we ran some GMB for the codes to remove the malware, right? No, that wasn't the plan, actually. But why don't you just transfer me those codes in case we need a bargaining chip? I don't really see the benefit of this exercise if we're not squeezing them for every credit they got. Uh, <laughs> the greater good? Hey, I really had no idea you had ulterior motives in all this. Come on, aren't we all in it for the filthy lucre at the end of the day? Yeah. This is really not a good time to start arguing about all this. Why don't we just pick up this discussion later? Hey, you know, I'm kidding around, right? No, you're Light not. Up. I don't think you are. I think you want the monies. Which I get. You're a scoundrel. <laughs> Do you really believe that this pathetic demonstration will hinder my plans? Blake yes. Moore, you know perfectly well what will happen if you go after that comet. Who do you think you are to intrude in our affairs? Ordering mining fleet to override safety mechanisms for immediate launch. Yes, sir. Oh. Do they have a way to undo? To the mainframes, the ships will be unable to launch with success. They will very likely crash. Hive, see if you can get me to broadcast directly to the miners' channel so we can warn them. Their channels are blocked. Womp womp. You just ordered innocents to their deaths. Those miners had nothing to do with the politics involved. Those miners also probably should have known not to start the engines. The game. Once they signed the GMB contract, they signed away their right to exist beyond what I tell them to do. Dude, I really want to kill this guy now. 
we'll let the Commissioner take care of him her way. Right now, we need to concentrate on making sure that fleet stays grounded. And for that, we need to get inside and destroy their equipment. What? what, what? Like, on foot? <laughs> no, apparently not. Okay, Tammy. We've disabled the mining craft. Can you get us in so we can wreck the Viridium mining drills? I've opened the first door for you, but I'm not sure what more I can do. They're on to me. My clearance has been revoked. <sighs> Looks like my time is up. We need to get you out of there right away before they get their hands on you. Ghost, can you manage an extraction and bring Tammy safely back to base? You got it. Tammy, get to the dock ASAP. Sorry your cover got blown, Tammy. At least I got to do some damage beforehand. Was the moment I'd have been waiting for. It's entertaining for the eye. My pain and suffering is your entertainment. Got it. I don't agree. Don't agree. My victory should be entertaining too. Oh my god, what the fuck? Gotta get through this other door. There's not much more I'll be able to do. I don't wait to reopen a door, and then I'm pretty sure these guys. I don't want to kill them, right? Those are supposed to be good guys. I would suggest deploying a drone, since you have favored them so much of late. Well, nothing works better for getting into those unreachable places. Drones, drones get into the unreachable place. I mean, your victory is, but it's better if you have to fight for it. Oh, okay. All right. I can agree with that. Um... I have to admire your ingenuity to an extent. You're not so different from my Roslyn at all. Admit it, Blakemore. Seeing your plans go up in smoke must sting a little. A small setback. All this equipment, miners included, can be replaced in a short time. Go, go, ramen bot. That thing is so hard to control. All right, cool. So many shields. These things don't matter. I kind of feel bad for the ship that I fly. Because the ship that I fly is like. It's not. It, it has a lot of shields and shit. And this is a very sturdy thing. Okay, I see the button, but the button didn't work. Funnel access. Why didn't the button work? That's my assumption is... drone game oh so it's supposed to be like this goes to the center and then we go blam goes over there and then blam there we go let me deploy another drone no 
Okay, now I just need to steer this little guy right into one of those vents down there. But you also wonder, like, I, they might not expect people to, like, stuff fat bombers down through there, right? <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. The rule of Death Stars, I guess, also, for, I mean, why would you have a shield system like this, where it's literally got a slot for things to fly through? Like, seems kind of silly, and yet here we are. Vacate this area at once. What? Explosion imminent. Uh -oh. No need to tell me twice. Uh oh. Uh oh. But I'm not very fast. I'm just a bomber. I've been following your progress. You've done good, Mr. Roslin. I'm moving in to make a formal arrest. Blakemore's in a bind, but he's not showing it. Let's hope he surrenders without too much fuss. I've got him just where I want him. I bet, I bet now you get the moment to destroyed, him Commissioner Hawk. His it's time for the fleet to exert its authority on this matter. Your aid has been invaluable, Mr. Roslin, but you need to step aside and allow the weight of galactic law to do its work. Well, let's see how this goes down with the locals. Attention, this is Commissioner Hawk of the Colonial Fleet. The GNB leadership is to relinquish its position at once. This is your only warning. I had a feeling it was you behind these nuisance incursions all along, Hawk. You are well beyond your jurisdiction and are overstepping your boundaries. Here in the DMZ, I call the shots. Oscar Blakemore, you are to present yourself at the docking area for immediate arrest. No. Nope. You have no powers here, and to prove that point, here is my authority to take you into custody. Respect my authority! What's going on? Elites using wormholes? Surprise, surprise. Oh. Damn it. They seem to receive weapon upgrades too. And Ghost is gone with the mainframe disruptor. Oh, this is real bad. No, you got this. Command your elite units to stand down at once. If Get him. If falls into Blakemore's hands, nothing will stand in his way. Uh-oh. The GNB appear to have successfully disabled the Commissioner's cruiser. This is just getting worse. One more hit and I'm done for. Units, hold your fire. Now, whatever malicious software you hit my mining fleet with surely has reversal codes. So I'm going to ask you nicely. At first, give me the codes or the Commissioner dies, and then you die. Don't do it, Adam! Killing a fleet officer would really be crossing the point of no return, Blakemore. Give up while you can, and end this craziness. You are not in the position to be making demands. Your deaths will be my pleasure. Boss, wait. Let me handle this. I believe I can persuade our visitor to hand over the codes. All I need is to jog his memory and help him set his priorities. If it saves time, do it. I'll keep the commissioner here as collateral. After you, brother. Where are you taking me? Somewhere you need to see. Let's just say, back to where it all began. Uh-oh. Prayer, I'm surprised you're still here. I th thought you didn't want to ruin this. But I know, I'm not your dad. I could be your dad. No, actually, that's not true. That's a false story.
I bet if I could have controlled myself in that fight, I would have kicked all their asses. Because I'm so high level. <laughs> I love our little helmets. Our helmets are funny. You remember this place, right? Where we were created. Oh, suddenly his helmet disappeared. It was on and then in the next frame it was yeah. gone. Unnerving, isn't it? A proper family reunion. Why did you bring me here? I wanted to show you the handiwork of your commissioner, Hawk. She did this. Shutting down cloning facilities was a fleet directive. We are an embarrassment to keep concealed from the homeworlds. But you know that. Hawk has been using that as leverage against you and playing you for a fool. You've been working the wrong side. You've forgotten where we belong. Our future is in the Beltagrades and with GNB. You obviously have no understanding of what's at stake here. You can't touch the comet. It'll mean war. Millions will die. Once we have the Viridium, we can handle the Okar. I wouldn't be so sure of that. With enough of their sacred resources, we can match Okar technology. That wormhole tech was just a taste. Blakemore is a visionary. Under his leadership, the Beltagrades can be its own entity. I don't think that would serve anyone but himself. Do you want to waste your existence in obscurity? I know you. As well as I know myself, you want to be a part of this. It's in our DNA. But at what cost? We are the perfect vessels for a new era. And together we could achieve marvelous things. Being clones doesn't make us genetically superior. We might share the same DNA, but we're really nothing alike at all. It's disappointing to find you so unreceptive. Uh -oh. We're the last, you know. All our brothers gone, dead. We could be the perfect team. Is this how you do your bargaining? I really don't need you, you know. The virus you uploaded is only a minor setback. Let me spell this out for you. I will dismantle the life you have built, your pathetic den, and the degenerates you collected within it. Unless you hand over the codes. Let's make it easier for all of us. Oh no. Shoot him out don't the mess airlock. With my friends. Yeah. My friends! Oh, you did shoot him out the airlock. You could probably just summon his ship to come pick him up. Look at them eyes. So angry. They're angry. All the bodies. <laughs> ice is amazing. I love ice places. That's, That's a Chio desert. place. I strongly advise that you use the nearby repair bay. Are you telling me this bay is still operational? That seems to be the case. Rav, I got I got Warhammer TV. It has been amusing. There aren't a lot of videos there though, but that's kind of to be expected. But they do have a lot of cool, like, um, well, if you like that sort of thing, battle reports. So like they'll do X versus Y and, <coughs> and do the battle play by play or whatever, which is kind of fun. So you can kind of see the games again. Ooh, there's a container over there. And I watched one movie so far. I'm trying not to like binge watch it. I don't want to binge watch it. I want to watch like one thing a day, maybe every other day. Repairs complete. Let's get the hell out of here while we still can. It appears that your clone counterpart has extricated himself from his predicament and could be airborne very soon. That was it. You blew your last chance. He's gonna run away. I may as well leave you here to rot. It's parsecs from the heart of the DMZ, and without my wormhole tech, you're as good as buried here. If you ever make it back to Cito, you'll find nothing but ashes and dust where your base used to be. 
Uh-oh. Have fun dying slowly in the knowledge that your friends will die before you. Oh, so mean. Damn it. We better act fast. Hive, where are we exactly? We are currently in the Keone system, which is centered around a neutron star of the same name. The system contains several smaller planetoids and is considered uninhabitable due to the residual radiation from the resident star's relatively recent supernova. Your clone counterpart was correct in his assertion that we may be stuck, as I detect no operational jump gates here. Another means of travel will be necessary. <laughs> That's funny. I was afraid you were going to say that. Carla, do you read me? How does it go, Nama? Wait, I need your help why urgently I reach for Nama? getting me out of where I am right now. Are there any locations close to my position where I could construct a spatial bypass? No, not at your location. I would need a little more data. Send me some scans from other locations nearby, Toka, so I can analyze them. Okay. I'll explore the nearby planetoids in order to get you the information you need. Can you put me through to Delia or Ben? Adam, what's your status? Was the mission a success? Things didn't quite pan out as expected. It seems my clone counterpart knows the base's location, and the Elite Squad could be headed straight for you, primed to obliterate you. Your mind and fleet isn't going anywhere for now. But where it all went wrong is when Hawk arrived on the scene to apprehend Blakemore, and the Elites appeared out of nowhere. They've been fitted out with some kind of Okar wormhole tech. From what I can gather, that's what their mission to the Byron system was about. What can we do? I'm not sure this place could withstand an assault. Mount whatever defenses you can until I get back. Brief the others to make urgent preparations and muster any firepower they can. Ghost made it out with Hawk's Mole Tammy, and they'll hopefully get to be with you soon. She'll have some more help there. We're in pretty deep, aren't we? Ben, now more than ever, you need to protect the people we've given a home to. Please, I can't have them die because of me. I'll do my best. That's what you get for meddling in the affairs of rich people. Really? <laughs> um, I hate, I hate how like there's all these things. I just, I just want them to go away. There we go. All right. What did I pick up? Oh. Oh, that's for Zarkov, though. Wow. Oh, wow. That one's worth 10,000 credits. The guy you didn't kill, you had the chance, lived. Well, I know. Well, and also, why the fuck didn't he die? I mean, he was based... This, it was said that this place was irradiated by neutron star grossness. Like, shouldn't he have died when he was outside the protection of whatever the fuck it was. Wow, Keon is like, you can sell these things really good here, but who's here to sell them to? Boreas. Is that where I am? That's where I am. Undiscovered site. Keon looks like corn. <laughs> so I'm thinking like Chaos Space Marines. Where is oh and there's Athon. Interesting. If no one got here through jump gates and stuff, why is there a the carrier all right? But I don't remember it being out here. Data unavailable. Most likely a clone carrier left over from the Okar Wars. Hey, Hive. If you knew each of my earlier iterations, what can you tell me about the particular one I'm up against? I can recall all of your versions, but to distinguish them characteristically is beyond my capabilities. I guess all I really need to know is that now it's just me and him. What is... Oh, and there's a shield generator. Hey, what is this over here? For your for and can't afford ketchup at a hundred dollars. I know. Why is ketchup so expensive? Inflation must have gotten really bad in this era. 
Wait, there's a lot of blow up things in here. What? Whoa. Did something open? I heard a door. It did. Dead open. Oh god. Look at all the buttons. Oh my god. Okay, so I'm going to assume. Did it go to this one or the next one? <gasps> Darn it. Okay, it went to this one. That one. This one. That one. To this one. To then this one. Oh man, that safe. That was a, that was a tough safe to crack. More buttons to shoot. Look, shooting buttons is a new tech in this world. Everybody comes with a gun, so they just they walk up to the doors and they pew pew the button in order to get in. That is that is the way of the new world. Apparently. There's there's something there. So gas tank dispenser. I forget what gas tank dispensers are good for. I mean, obviously they... They blow things up, but... I'm not sure... Seen. Oh, there's a there's a thing to blow up over here, but I think I can just shoot this. Whatever it is, yeah. I don't think I need the gas tank for this. Oh, but I do need a gas tank for this. I can make them go boom. <laughs> oh. Really? All of that just to open this? <laughs> Seems a little... A little overkill. thankful for my comparatively long and eventful life this yep. clone version refused to comply to the mission objective i was left with no option but to terminate assistance you did what? it you mean you killed me hive certainly not i ended compliance quite a different thing what you see here should illustrate what happens to a craft without real intelligence on board another adam rosslin R.I.P. Is there any other man in history who has had to see himself die so many times? Your self-pity is unfounded, since you technically only have yourself to blame. <laughs> wow. Thanks. Thanks, Hive. You're kind, sir. Um, Dispensing gas tanks out here in the middle of nowhere. Yes. Dragon rich people are very similar. <laughs> Wait, dragon rich people? What are you talking about? Dragons. I take offense to that. Dragons have nothing to do or, or not anything like rich people. 
Yeah. Well, I mean, you both eat a lot. But I'm big. Well, so are they. Yeah, but not like, no. Yeah, anyway. Most dragons have a lot of money. Not this one. I know, that's why you have me, because I'm the one who makes you money. Exactly. When do I get my next Baconator? Uh... <laughs> a Pulse Mutator and Super Gel, I needed that. More shields. Another gas dispenser? Yep. And what is this? Scraps. Okay, so I found another gas dispenser. So now I need to find another hole. And I need to stick it in the hole. Where is the hole to stick? To plug it in, plug it in. I bet it's right here. This, this looks like... That looks like a potential... Heat dispenser. Okay. So, those are shields. Heat socket, heat socket. I bet these deal with the shields. shields maybe they don't we'll find out for sure oh there's vents over there okay all right where'd that gas thing go oh did it decay oh, I guess they decay after a time all right. So the gas dispenser's on the other side. Ow! Well, probably not a good idea to bang gas cans against the sides of ship hulls. from the effects of a decaying cytotoxin and vengeance for the wrongs done to you by Seth Nobu and Admiral Kryn Gork. Stop, Hive. <laughs> I was speaking rhetorically. Gork. I'd really rather be all the past. <coughs> Gork and Mork. Oh, flat cannon. Cool. All right, so... I think we've done all the things on this location, really. The 
I guess. Let's move on. I don't know. What is the mission now? Search a system for a suitable spatial bypass locator. Okay, so let's go nearest location over there. <laughs> Tiny Sun. I'm gonna go with Tiny Sun. I mean, no, it wasn't just one button I had to throw. Okay, look, I had to destroy a thing to get the heat sphere thing, to put the heat spheres in the sockets, to open up the vents, to then get the gas distributors, to throw gas, dis gas cans into the vents to make them blow up, to drop the shield that lets me push the button to get to the box. See, high amount of security. I don't know what you're talking about. at one of the highlighted locations. How does this look to you? No, this is not a suitable place. You need to move on. Damn it. I really don't need these setbacks right now. I'm not going to, though, because... Adam to base. Any visitors yet? Any updates? Ghost and Tammy have arrived. No sign of any GNB yet, thankfully. Eduardo thinks he has a way of getting the on-site artillery up and running again. The turrets? They look beyond repair last time I inspected them. That sure sounds hopeful. There are reserve turrets under the surface that could be put to use. If we could figure out how to link a power supply to them. Seems like you've got the situation under control. We need you here, Adam. We can't mount a proper defense without you. I'm working on getting back as soon as I can. Okay, neat. Uh, this place has a location thing, so we're definitely doing... So I was right. You can see the location challenge in the top left. And every time there's a location challenge, you should probably try and do it. We're certainly going to give this one a shot. Now, the question is... What buttons do I need to push to activate this thing? Maybe it's over there that I need to activate. You guys really want to shoot me? I don't think you really want to do this. Alright. Let's see. Let's explore this one and see if there's anything up here to look at. I mean, well, that's, the, that's the thing, though. It's like the extra steps leaves enough time for security to deal with your ass. It's just that's an abandoned place, so therefore there's no security to deal with you. You're fencing around the puzzles. <laughs> Shh. I'm getting back as fast as I can. Oh, squirrel. see any sockets here though were those two sockets back in the center oh i lost the center where's the center where are those two things that i found why are they not showing up anymore there they are ancient rune and a question mark so i think if i get ancient rune and bring it to the question mark i think the question mark is the socket that sounds like dragon solutions we're more sophisticated than dragons are on this channel just just saying that's why it's dragons humans and kobolds that's what I should name my channel is Dragons, Humans, and Kobolds, not Geoxen. I should rename my Twitch channel Dragons, Humans, and Kobolds, too. Uh, I mean, this is 
stupid because it's just going to be like this, right? Yeah. It's not, not a puzzle at all. Okay. Where is... There it is. <laughs> Excuse me, princess. <laughs> You're excused, princess. Careful. Chio likes princesses. They are delicious. Um... Okay, so circle thing. Oh, oh, that's a case. Look at that. And then. Unfortunate search results. Eh. Might. I'm not sure how worried I am. Well, yeah, I am worried about that. Um. Okay, so that is a. Yep. There's some ruins. Bring this over here. We need the Z icon facing that way. Alright, so that should do that. Oh, man. You know, okay, so I went and saw the Super Mario movie, and it was awesome. 100% worth seeing. For nostalgia's sake. Definitely better than the original Super Mario movie. Um, really entertaining. I had a blast watching it. Oh shit, wait, I pointed Z at that. Wait, what? Why is this not working? I pointed Z at that too. Not sure I understand why that opened because whatever. Anyway, Super Mario movie was a ton of fun though. Um, so if you just want to see a fun movie with nostalgia in it, it was totally worth it. A, a blast I had. Um, lots of cool moments. Really well animated. Tons of fun to watch in that regard. And it's funny because I saw commercials for a lot of other movies coming out. I just have no interest in. I don't know what it is about kids movies these days, but I'm just not interested in them. They're really, really bad. And here's my hot take on The Little Mermaid. I don't give a fuck <laughs> about what, what I guess a lot of people are complaining about. I watched the, the trailer for it. I just don't like live action of old movies I loved. Like, well, I don't know if I love The Little Mermaid. Well, yeah, I did because I was a huge underwater fan. I don't know what it was though. I just <laughs> wasn't interested. Probably because I'm old. But um, but yeah, I I I just I just I guess it's I remember the cartoons and I want cartoons. I'm not a fan of 
changing things into live action. And then it made me think about the old original Mario movie, <laughs> which I'm sure we all know was a terrible disaster. And they made that like, I can't, I was trying to think of like cartoons I've seen where they changed it into, oh, you know what? I just thought of one. I was trying to think of like cartoons where they changed it to live action and it made it better. And I couldn't think of any until now. And now I'm going, oh wait, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was actually really well done. But is that really, I guess it is live action, but I was gonna say, is it really though? Cause it's just a bunch of people in big ass costumes. But it is live action. <laughs> More live action than than things are live action these days, because everyone green screens everything these days. But uh <laughs> But yeah, I just I don't know. <laughs> no, I don't wanna see is there really a Barbie movie coming out? Wait, the Nuke movie? What's the Nuke movie? Scooby-Doo in the worst way. Oh, God, no, don't make Scooby-Doo. Really? The, the live action Scooby-Doo is better? I might have to see it to judge, but I can't believe it. And we all know Cowboy Bebop was a disaster in live action. It's just, there's things that you can do in cartoons that you can't do in, uh, in live action. Or it looks weird if you do it in live action, I guess. I don't know. I'm not a fan. I'm curious what the worst ways are. <laughs> Scooby-Doo is another one that I loved to death. That was, that was a favorite of mine. I used to watch Scooby-Doo all the damn time. Oh, I love this. This is so good. This is cool looking. Manhattan Project movie. I don't think I know that. I don't think I've heard of that. I will be honest. I don't really keep up with movies and things that are coming out. It was kind of funny because I want to go see the D&D movie. But it's not out anymore, so I'm going to have to get it on Amazon. I know White Wolf was saying that they would stream it, but I kind of... I don't know what it is. I've been enjoying watching movies on my own. <laughs> um, I actually go to the theater at like 10 o'clock in the morning. I buy my ticket, and it's like just me in the movie theater. I love it. It's great. It's, it's, it's really kind of fun and relaxing. This is clearly... Oh, wait, no. It's already attached. Wait a minute. Okay, so I'm assuming that one's already attached, too. And that needs one that we don't have yet. Oh, and here's the glowy thing. These, these designers have done a really good job of making interesting spaces in a space game. I certainly enjoy it. I guess my other puzzle piece is back here. Wait. Or, or my other puzzle piece is not back here. was back here. Sometimes over the top can be good, although I'll admit I'm someone who doesn't like over the top, so I know like a lot of people love Will Ferrell. I can't stand him. I really can't. Like when he comes on, he is just, he is not someone I find interesting or funny. The only one, the only movie he's been in that I really actually enjoyed was Stranger Than Fiction. Other than that, not interested in, in, uh, in that at all. 
Okay, so definitely nothing in there. Okay, so I saw there's an icon there. Oh. Okay, this is probably gonna show an icon too. Okay, so that symbol is what I'm guessing you need to be. And you need to be, where are you? The eye. Okay. And you need to be that icon. that actually do <coughs> oh sealed ancient structure okay eating souls in the scooby-doo movie <laughs> oh i see is that why is that why you liked it <laughs> i understand now <laughs> open doors to destroying things as part of a design got it yeah no we're reconstructing things did you not see that when we fixed it we made new thing Ooh, that shoots off a beam in a direction oh it's sealed Man, so I need two more parts. Well, why couldn't those two parts just be here? Are they over here, maybe? already facing it. Are all of these going to be ruins? Oh, that's a jar. Also a jar. faces away I think this one wanted I right so maybe I faces away there we go dark energy and solar sweet mystery solved let's get out of here Bing. 
I'm probably going to have to go to all these places because I have to find... So that dark energy I just picked up is useful for assembling one of those spatial displacer things. So I have a feeling even once I find the place where I can build it, I'm going to have to go around. Any good? No, I don't see a good place for a rip here. Oh, of course you don't. It's not your fault. I'll keep looking. Drink, you better keep looking. Find the head. Wow, that happened way faster than I expected it to. to find something that's explosive to stuff in it. Need to find explosive thing <clears throat> to stuff it with Neutron stars are cold. I guess they are the cold stars, aren't they? Or are they really hot? Oh, oh. Ah, gas tank dispenser. There we go. I do find like the puzzles in this to be pretty trivial, which is a little disappointing. Some of them aren't. Some of them, like the the ancient ones, are always fun. I like the ancient puzzles, but most most of the puzzles, like the ones we're doing right now, are like just kind of cheese ball. Wait, how did I get in there? They're like, oh, there's a vent. And then you know that the the thing that opens it is really close. <laughs> okay, so that was not the hidden stash. What do I need to do for this area? Kion. Complete three location challenges. Okay. Okay, okay. Once I complete three, I can I can start ignoring them. Well, I mean, space has water in it. So, it makes sense. The water is like, you know, various different um, planetary rings have water. The rings are made of water.
comets are water. Yeah, exactly. So, a lot of comets are water. Power core socket. So, somewhere. I think it's believed that there's a lot of water out beyond the planets in our solar... Like, there's a, still a lot of, like... Man, where the fuck are you? That's why, like, if we were to live in space, there's, like, there's actually a decent amount of opportunity for well executed. for getting the things we need to survive in space, I think. it just take effort. It's not like there's an ocean of water for us to suck out of, but, but you know, the possibilities are there. socket I'm looking for. Is there something here that I need to be looking for? Because it's all blue and wavy and Oh my god, it's extra cold there. That's that's what's happening there. Okay. Alright, I now know what that does. Okay, I kind of expected there to be like a power core on this ship somewhere to gather. Starting to wonder if it's located somewhere else. So is this like a yeah? Okay, so technically that could be anywhere. I actually kind of hate that. Because you want it to be close. <laughs> Because this area is kind of huge. to get full. Oh wow, that's actually pretty good. Oh, things are too high level here for me. Like even if I wanted to use it, I couldn't use it. Let's see, I'm still disassembling. That one's a little bit better. It doesn't have the right stats on it, though, so I'll just disassemble that.
Oh, I didn't want to disassemble that. Oh, well. So I have homing missiles. These are better, but they don't have the range. That's fine, though. Um, I've never liked the gauze cannon. I feel like I should like it. But it's never really done it for me. And it's really close range. Man, scatter guns I want to love, but I just don't. Give me those credits. Yeah. Where do I even begin to look? For the thing. That that thing needs. Something that's actually kind of annoying about this game is they don't really give you a good idea of... What the boundaries are for where you're looking. Like... I guess it looks like if I go that way, there's nothing out there. Um, oh, here we go. Oh, no. Oh, that's just pieces of the ship. Okay. I was hoping that maybe that had the remnants I needed, but maybe this, despite the fact it's going to freeze me, has what I need in it. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, you get cold fast. Oh, there's the power core too. Um, God, it looks like there would be something hot in there. I think what I need is like a heat core. Freezing, freezing. All right, let's just go for it. <laughs> Nailed it. That's exactly how that was supposed to work. 100%. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck you, bad guys. Go away. No, no, don't. Stop. No. Oof. All right, fine, I'll deal with the bad guys first, and then we'll come back. Guys suck! 
I hate cold. Boink, boink. Completely lost in a cloud. Nice. Oh, wait, two more power core sockets? Are you kidding me? Were there more in that? Oh, there were. Fuck. Well, time to go get cold again, I guess. Oh, I hate it when I get frozen while turning. <laughs> it's so disorienting. kind of hoping that that would uh keep me up maybe that's not a true story though flames and heat my ship up and then go in would be super cool I'm at no <laughs> stop it did the thing we did the location challenge feels good it needs to be there's i guess there's you know there's space pirates out here but i bet the honestly I bet you ten dollars those turrets will need to be connected to the power supplies manually i'm worried g and b might be on us at any moment just hang tight I'm working on getting back to lend a hand. The, uh... Tureen, Alec, and Ghost all have their ships battle ready. Tureen has become suddenly quite religious and is chanting some kind of prayer for victory. <laughs> yeah, I think he rediscovered his calling with our visit to the Emissary. The fate of the Comet means everything to him. How are the others holding up? Uh-oh. Oh, no.
it's a whole bunch of me's floating in space. Me everywhere. Another vision. Patch me through the dock. Give me news. Hey, Delia. I need to consult with you on a medical matter. I've been experiencing flashbacks lately. They're becoming more intense. I had them before, but ever since I teamed up with Dax and things got put into motion, they'd be getting worse. Like they're catching up with me. Possibly triggered by stress. I'm not sure what I could prescribe. Hang in there, Adam. It's your strength that's carrying us all right now. I'm sorry I can't be of more help. But this sounds to me like an inner conflict, which only you can resolve. Meds won't help. Will you at least keep me updated if it happens again? Uh, yeah. Thanks, Doc. Uh, I've got a good feeling about this location, uh, tingling in my bones. How does it look to you, Kala? Yes, Clico, there is a rip, but it doesn't work like that yet. Just what I need. What's the problem? Hmm, I came across these ancient structures before. After defeating the wardens that were guarding them, a, a portal would open and transport me somewhere else. Maybe that's the broken rip. That would be a level assumption, and one to explore. Although you know I disapprove greatly of this experimentation. Well, tough. Let's see if I can summon an ancient warden and make something happen. Time is running out. There are a lot of little crystals around that need to get lit, I think. Actually, that's one thing I really love about this is I enjoy the, in the first one, you don't really get to explore these ancient runes. You just kind of find them and they're just mystical always. And now it's like you actually get to kind of see more about it, which is kind of neat. And yeah, there's a warden. Is that a trapped warden down there? One of the rune blocks seems to be missing. I better look for it if I want to release that warden. Do you want to release him, though? So the other block is certainly not in here. Now, do I... Oh, can't shoot those. Or, well, shooting them doesn't actually do anything. a door. I wonder if any of the other doors are open. Ah. Nope. <coughs> <coughs> Not open. Leads me anywhere interesting.
So do I get a choice? do all of them. Okay. that open but did that actually that didn't give me what I was looking for what I need in it. Oh wait, I've been here. Uh, I don't think it does. Maybe there's something up here that's worth finding? kind of frustrating because we did that thing over there and I thought that would open up the pathway to to light up those rocks there but I guess not oh is this a cave nope structure but not sure powered ancient ruin another powered ancient ruin which way do you need to be facing
icon. And that icon. Now the question is, that icon facing out? Or that icon facing in? Which I don't really tell you. Okay, facing out. Damn. I mean, I need that, but... I was really hoping that that would be a cool rock thing. A rock key thing for the puzzle that I need to solve. Okay, it looks like there's something over there that I can break that maybe I missed. Oh wait, there's something down here. Uh huh? Give me something. Aha. Good. gonna crack that open which yay for me but not what I need okay so apparently when we were over here we saw something that you could break so what did I miss that I was allowed to break here all along oh my god and I for sure question is is it I facing out or I facing in we don't know <sighs> that one is that funny object off to the left and this one Uh, 
this one we don't have a clue? Well, we know how this works. If you don't know, and it's the last one that you don't know, you just rotate it until it does something. That released the warden. But where did it go? Outside. Obviously. Clearly. Maybe? What, maybe... A drone... It's also drones... your ancient soul to rest poor little eyeball all it wants to be is an eyeball i guess you can't hit it with missiles Pokey, pokey, pokey! <sighs> Never easy putting those things down. One day we'll figure out where they're really from. Let's head inside the structure and check if a portal is open. Yeah, Your actions do bad. not appear to have resulted in the desired effect. No portal has materialized. They didn't open up portals in Everspace One. They opened up black holes, and if you got sucked into them, you're dead. I don't know where they're getting this whole portal thing from. Unless the black hole's the portal, clearly. Hmm. Kala, are you really sure this is the right spot for a spatial bypass? Yes, Clico. But something is still interfering with the connection. Maybe we can modify that. Okay. How would I go about that? I'll send you instructions of everything we need. Let's see. Establish a fast right. travel node. Got everything I need. Oh, yeah. I've got everything needed. Yeah. Yeah. It seems to be working. Guys, I'll be right there. That makes sense. That's what I thought we were going to have to do. Why was that so difficult? So we're coming here. Although I bet it, I bet you it warps me off to some weird location like it did once before, which I'm still curious about, but confused. I can't remember what you're supposed to do there. And you only have like so much time to do it. Oh no. It just brought me home. Okay. Looks like we have visitors. We just picked them up. Looks like G and B scouts. Obviously the advance party. Let me take care of them. We're way out in the open now in any case. Yeah. 
I said you're gonna take care of him. Why am I taking care of him? Look who's back. Dude, what happened back there? I thought we had the situation totally under control. So did I. Whatever new tech the elites got their hands on changed everything. Hawk and I were completely caught sideways. So they got her, but how did you escape? Long story short, they tried to recruit me to their team, but I made a break for it. You don't have long before they throw their full force at us. What's the status on those turrets? I managed to reactivate three of the submerged turrets. Although, unfortunately, the power flow is interrupted and they will need to be hooked up manually. For this, I brought the energy sphere dispenser below the hangar back online. Now we only need to carry energy spheres to the turrets to power them back up. I can manage that. The artillery is quite energy hungry. One energy sphere is only sufficient for a limited amount of rounds. So they may need to be recharged continuously during a prolonged engagement. Oh, uh, that's gonna Dude, suck for this ship. Your talking man machine is amazing. Where can I get one? <laughs> Eduardo isn't a toy, Alec. GNB could be here any minute. Let's get right to it. Tareen, Alec, Ghost, you guys ready your ships for imminent battle? I am now more ready than I have ever been. I was born ready. I'm so ready. I was ready before I even knew what was going on. <laughs> That's the spirit. Let's do this. So, let's see. We reached 25, which means I get a new perk. 30% of incoming damage back to your attacker. 50% increased critical hit chance when attacking enemies whose movement is impaired. And every second, gain 5% increased secondary weapon damage, stacking up to six times. Resets when taking damage. Well, I'm slow and fat, so taking damage is a thing. I feel like I should do this. Hanger storage. So I want want to put this over there. I have all this crap. And I just want to sell it. Uh, I wonder if I can. Nothing, nothing here probably sells very well. Oh, shield breaker missiles, those are cool. Oh, I got to 25, which means I can take this and remove the level restriction. And replace it, nice. Sweet. Do I need any more of the blue stuff? Eh, still, yeah, I guess so. Other shit, I would like to just sell it. Alright, cool. So if I step outside, is the next step of this bullshit happening? Is that what, is that what I understand? It's like all this crafting shit, and I know it's important and it's useful and it looks useful, but like, I don't know, I never felt like I had the stuff to use it often and it that just got kind of frustrating. All right. I 
could power the first turret. Or... <laughs> I could clean up my inventory. <laughs> Oh, what? Received to GNB general broadcast. More bad news on the arms race in the DMZ? Essentially, oh. yes. Shit. All right, things leveled here, but they're not terrible. Duchess, leave me alone. Duchess, there's people here who want to shoot me full of holes. Oh, all you have is a wasp finger. I mean, it is a three plus. That's pretty cool. Wow, it's expensive. How about no? How about you buy my shit? Oh wait, can I not? Yeah, there we go. Actually, first, let's see what shit you have to buy. System recovery routine. No, don't need those. Nor do I need any of the other junk that you have. I'm gonna sell this thing because I don't care for it anymore and I just want the money. Defending. Easy. The first 
turrets powered up. On to the next. Which is, of course, when they come in. Damn, they're here. And they brought the big guns. Ah, uh, that's a big ship. I have to take matters into my own hands. It's high time you were neutralized. You people have become a thorn in the side of G&B, which needs removing. Our plans for the comet were put into motion long before you decided to interfere, and we won't be stopped. Prepare to pay the price for your actions. Units, shoot the external defenses while we target the base. Sir, yes sir! Eduardo, concentrate artillery fire on Blakemore's carrier. Yeah! What the hell is going on? Our intelligence was clear that this base's defenses were no longer operable. How was this information wrong? Because they were, the until just now. The last known survey showed that defenses were obsolete. And how long ago was that? Were you the intelligence on this matter, Callahan? Figures. Rosalind would have finished the job already. Okay. I better power up the other turrets fast. Did it not pick it up? Pick it up? God damn it. Hey, you can shoot me. Ow. Shoot me harder, daddy. Oh. Oh, punch my arm. Where are my nerd friends? They're supposed to be helping me. say so but it really feels like it's not our advantage <laughs> it really feels like I'm just getting pounded your resistance is spirited but your downfall inevitable massive projectiles were just fired from the carrier those are mining torpedoes they could shatter this asteroid to pieces I need to intercept them fast What? Where are they? Ah. My buddies are not very helpful. Oh wait. Did that get a everyone okay? I'm doing fantastic. How are you, buddy? Yeah, well, I suppose I've been in more intense situations, but I can't think of them right now. <laughs> Several torpedoes are incoming. Uh, hello. One of the turrets has run out of energy. You may want to consider recharging it. You are only prolonging the outcome. You will soon be consigned to history. Wait, why am I not getting energy? There we go. Leave me alone. Stop shooting me in the butt. Cheaters. Ghost, how are you holding up? I would have been pretty pissed if I missed this party. <laughs> Thanks for the invite, man. Who is on me? Why isn't friends helping? God damn it. More torpedoes were just fired. Oh shit, missed. Turrets powered up. Sir, our shields are down. 
Torpedoes after this? Adam, there is a barrage of torpedoes incoming. Intercept as many of them as you can, or we won't withstand the combined impact. On it. I mean, shooting torpedoes is easy. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Honestly, I think you guys could do it, and I can fight the fighters. like protecting me like i'm doing all the hard work here and they're all just like flying around not shooting anything well it feels like they're not shooting anything i'm sure they are shooting shit but they're not doing it well enough <sighs> let's start all over all right here we go back to charging charging turrets again while you all your fucking resistance is spirited but why? your downfall inevitable why why can't you guys shoot the guys that are on me Massive projectiles were just fired from the carrier those are mining torpedoes uh-huh they could shatter this asteroid to pieces uh-huh need to intercept them fast mm-hmm you know what would help me intercept them if you nerds can fucking turret powered up. Get the fucking asshole off my booty. Oh my god. There. Everyone okay? I'm doing fantastic. How are you, buddy? Yeah, well, I suppose I've been in more intense situations, but I can't think of them right now. This is actually a cool little event, though. I do like the way they designed this so far. Several torpedoes are incoming. I'll get them in a second. All turrets powered up. One of the turrets has run out of energy. I know. You may want to consider recharging it. Well, I might. Wow, they're even they're hitting me from like really long range too. Uh, you can't hit me. I would have been pretty pissed if I missed this party. Infinite charge. All turrets powered up. More torpedoes were just fired. go torpedoes where on it Sir, our shields are down i've had enough of this fire all reserves 
conserve torpedoes at once. There we go. Adam, there is a barrage of torpedoes incoming. Intercept as many of them as you can, or we won't withstand the combined impact. On it. were just fired. Your feeble defense is only an irritation. Soon to be removed. Ah, shut it, Blakemore. I guess I should say, welcome to Rhodia 2, Tammy. It's like out of the frying pan into the fire. I'd much rather be here than anywhere else right now. Can we, like, ugh. Oh. Of course, this is a lot harder when you're also trying to take on Super surprised, but there we go. I would love to. The turrets are depleted. I would advise you to supply them with energy immediately. I would love to. Okay, guys, keep it up. We can win this. Okay. Please, everybody, deal with the problems. While I do the work you won't do. Several torpedoes are incoming. What? Where did my energy ball go? Son of a Biznitch. Are these torpedoes like extra hard? Those are some serious business torpedoes. There, good lord. Yeah, let's get ourselves another. Or B. Several torpedoes are incoming. Son of a beeswax. Can I use my hook? Apparently I cannot. And apparently Apparently my guys don't know how to shoot down torpedoes and they don't know how to keep the mobs off of me. That's probably the one thing about this game that bothers me the most is like you behave defiantly, which is all the more reason I should annihilate you all. To think I used to work for you. It, 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 I think most of the fights just feel like 20 ships versus me. There's no like, you know, like most combat games, there's like really interesting mechanics for fighting things like, and that's where I feel like this game kind of fails. It's, it doesn't have the interesting things. I mean, you got cool guns and stuff, but it's still like, son of a, are you kidding me? Can I plug this in and then get the torpedoes? Sir, we have suffered heavy damages. Shields are depleted. Damn it. I'm ordering a 
Tactical disengagement. All units return to base. Scrap! My engine's overheating! I can't jump! Request immediate assistance! Your ship, your problem, Callahan. Fix it yourself and get back to base. Oh, wow. Hey, wait! You can't just leave me here! I can't help but see the poetic justice in this. Remember when you left us in the lurch, Callahan? Whatever. You suck, and I wish I would have known a lot sooner how much you suck. I would have sent you to your death <laughs> before you got any delusions. I'm giving you this chance to walk away, Callahan. You're nothing without GNB. Without that little bit of power they give you, you ain't worth scrap. You're pathetic. Screw you and the shit can you rode in on. <laughs> shoot him in the butt. No, no, nope. let it go. Let it shoot. Pew pew. Yeah. Too late. Callahan's gone. I don't think he'll be missed. Nope. I think it's fine. <laughs> I love how the artillery is still shooting at an empty. Oh, it's Tarine shooting at it. We need to preempt that. We need to hit them first. It took the words right out of my mouth. It would seem the obvious thing to do, all right. Wonder where my clone counterpart was in all this. I suspect up to much worse. Let's meet inside. That was a cool event. I like that. That was fun. <laughs> How's it looking? We're holding up, but... Not sure if we'd be able to survive another assault like that. You reckon a counterattack is feasible? There are enough people in the DMZ having serious issues with GNB. I've been thinking, if we can get the miners on Vesna on our side, we could easily turn things in our favor. What about this guy? You sure about him? There's something about him that reminds me of my younger self. I don't know. Maybe I was that arrogant before I figured people out a little. But he could be a big help. <laughs> He's gonna get trained. Dude, if I was even 10% interested, believe me, you know. Does that mean I'm in with a 9% chance? <laughs> <laughs> you show respect to the people on this base, or you're out before you know it. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, I get it. Like the males of Ulog Kushtok. Fascinating. An example of humanoid mating rituals never observed by an Okar before. <laughs> <laughs> this is nothing. You should see how the Horak do it. <laughs> Listen up. I didn't exactly plan to still be here. Like an old friend of mine used to say, plans are for fools. We're about as random a group as the Belt of Greats has to offer. We come from all different backgrounds, all different races. Some of us are outcasts, some are screw-ups, some are lost with no way home, and some told they don't belong. But we all found our way to each other, and we all belong here. We have this base thanks to a man named Dax Bashar. He died before most of you arrived, but he taught me a lot about trust and esteem. I don't think Dax. Dax our strength, the respect. Dax we have wasn't a very good guy. Because <laughs> the enemy we're up against has no regard for anything but profit and power. Let's teach them a lesson and make the DMZ a better place. Are you guys in? Hell, you know I'm totally behind you. Oh, let's gosh. kick some GMB butt. Yeah, it Avengers, righteous. righteous, let's go. <laughs> Avengers assemble. Dax was not a good person. I'm pretty sure if Dax was still here, he'd be trying to backstab us to get to the asteroid and mine it. But we've got friends. Before we head to Vesna Mining Colony, it's time to call in some favors. I have a feeling Officer Shaw at Neftis Plains will be on our side. It's well known he's had issues with the way GNB has been running things. A high-ranking figure like him could persuade the GNB miners to switch sides against Blakemore. I should start with him. I'll pay him a visit. I could have a word with the coalition. They told me only to come back if the cluster was about to implode. I think this situation counts. Anyway, they love me around there. Uh, sounds Good like idea, they Alec. don't. Bet Ming Young would be on our side. Marie Devent has a pretty decent rig and might be persuaded to lend a hand, if I ask nicely. And Cato at Prescott would surely contribute if it meant less regulation for his operations. While me and Ella go wrangle support, all of you go get your ships battle ready. Once the pieces are in place, we'll need to move fast. There'll only be one shot at this. 
We'll have to strike hard. What if they come back while you're gone? The Elite Squad took a hammering. Blakemore's carrier was banged up pretty bad. I'm thinking they're not gonna come looking for another fight too soon. But stay sharp all the same. Be ready for anything. I'll be as quick as possible. All right. I wonder how many chapters there are in this. Like, I'm kind of wondering if I can finish this by th Thursday. Which would be kind of fun, because then I could start a new game. So I guess fun for me, because I want to start a new game. Um, perks. I don't have any of the things that I want. I want the ship dealer. What do I need for the ship dealer? Oh, right. Those particle modulators. I don't know where the fuck to get those. Um. Which I do want to go over here before I end tonight. I was going to end right after this, but. But he great. Do you might have me? my new bomber. Loud and clear. How's it going, Bucko? Not so great. I don't know if you're aware of the situation, but we may be facing another war with the Okar if we don't stop G and B from dragging us into it. There have been signs of something afoot, and G and B movements and a raid I heard too. Are you mixed up in all this? Let me level with you. Oscar Blakemore has gone insane and is jeopardizing everyone in the DMZ. I'm the guy trying to put a stop to his plans. <laughs> I always knew you had it in you, from the first time I slapped eyes on you. I'm trying to enlist all the help I can get to launch an assault on Vesna Mining Colony. Well, any new conflict with the Okar would be the end of my business. I'm assuming that you want me to lend a hand with my Flying Duchess? If you're willing. Sonny, I would relish the chance to put the boot into G&B. Count me in. I knew I could rely on you. Thanks, Marie. When I send the call, we'll assemble above Vesna. Okay. Let's see, put that in there. And let's head out. Zoom. Hopefully when I talk to this guy, he doesn't like fuck off and then I don't get to look at his ships. Because I'm coming What's here because I want to look at his ships. To discussion as Marie de Vint was. Let me see what you have. Uh... Ah, Mr. Roslin. How nice to have you visit us again. I believe this is more than a social call. You'd be right about that. I need to have a word with you about your boss. Oscar Blakemore? He has long forgotten that our outpost exists at all. Supplies haven't reached us in eons. He has been preoccupied with other things, and causing quite a bit of trouble with the Okar. Let me fill you in. No need. We may be cut off from the center of affairs, but we're not completely blind to the events unfolding. I have been picking up bits and pieces from GMB internal communications, and have registered the rising tensions with the Okar. There's quite a degree of nervousness among my colleagues about this. There was also a recent raid on Vesla. I can put two and two together myself. Blakemore is undoubtedly the root of all this trouble. He's the worst thing to have happened to this company. And you are somehow involved. Yes, I was part of that raid. We failed. Now Blakemore has a fleet commissioner hostage. This is indeed serious. I'm waiting, Mr. Roslin, for you to get to the point. I think you might be the voice of reason in all this. You could talk some sense to the miners on Vesna and bring them around. That would be mutiny. However, Blakemore does need to be removed from his post and Okar assets left intact. There is a moment in every man's life where purpose becomes clear, and you have brought mine to my door. 
I shan't take much time to reflect on your proposal because it is clearly the right thing to do. What do you need of me? Stuff. See, that's what I like about you, Shaw. You're straight up old school. I believe you're the most decent guy in GNB and will want to see things righted. Get together whatever fighting force you can muster and meet me above Vesna. If possible, use those GNB internal comms to tell the miners to down tools and stay out of the fray. You are a true man of action, Mr. Roslin. I must say, I have developed a real admiration for you. The admiration is mutual. Duh! They like each other. Isn't that cute? Oh, wow. Glass it. I have a lot of it. Okay, well that's annoying. I was hoping they would have some cool stuff, but they don't. Time for wait, is that the bomber? Is this the bomber of my dreams? It does have increased stuff. Passes. Three plus one. What's the plus one? I only see three. I don't see what the plus one is. Um. Holy fuck. Look at that haul. 400k. Holy heckies. Dip slots. I get to have an extra device. I do kind of wish I played through with like a really fast silly ship, but but this works. So I wish I could see what ship I currently have. Okay, buy and transfer. No. Buy and sell current, yes. I just wish I knew what my current one was. But look like a big upgrade, so feels good. And now I'm poor again. Amazing how that works out. Oh hey. I'll we'll buy small arms and ramen. Nice. That's right. I have mainframe skills to use. What do I want? Precision is critical hit chance. I don't know how much I care. Increases the energy and kinetic damage of installed devices and the alts. My devices don't do damage. The alt does. All damage reduction, debuff duration reduction. Offers unique benefits depending on ship's subclass. Hull repair per hull damage dealt. No. <clears throat> oh. I heal for doing damage to things? That's interesting. I know I healed armor for killing stuff. Increase hull damage reduction and debuff duration. Increase hull damage reduction. That'd make me a real tank if I did that. Maybe I should go tank. Let's go tank. Oh, that's only for hull damage. That's module damage, which I'm assuming is when I go into hull damage. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. I don't think it really helps that much though. Get 10% for 
mainframe expansion. Can I reduce it? Yeah. That doesn't make sense. So literally it's 26% hull damage reduction. I put one in and it's 27. Another one is 20. I get 2% for, for hull frames. That seems lame. I feel like I get more out of it that. 43.8. Oh, that doesn't seem like a lot either. Guess I'll do that. I like the idea. I like, I don't know. <clears throat> when I think of tanking, I always think of like reduction of. Um, oh, shit. Are the passives different per ship? Oh, my ship's not there anymore. Convert mines instead of triggering them. That was my old ship. That is my old ship. Reduces damage from enemy explosives. Convert mines instead of triggering them. And now, reduce damage, target lock on duration reduced. I, oh, that's actually really nice. Okay, so the passes are different based on the ship you buy. Interesting. I thought those were set in stone between ship. Okay, all right. So I might have to look at other bombers I find and maybe trade out if I find better passives on it. That's uh, good to know. I'm glad I found out. Jesus. Things they don't tell you about. Really frustrating. Well, that was a lot easier than I anticipated. Ben, how are things at base? All clear. Preparations underway. Good to hear. I have Shaw on our side. Heading to see Kato now. So let's go back to base so I can slap on my beautiful colors. Hey, Adam, I've got fantastic news. Ice cream related or is the coalition going to help? The second thing, not only that, they're even going to send their flagship a drone carrier. Cool. Wow, Alec, you really are a legend. Wasn't that a given? All the pieces are nearly in place. Get ready to rendezvous above Vesna. I still got a call to make. You got it, buddy. All right. So that's sweet. I almost want to keep going, but I think I should go to bed after this. I just want to put the right colors on. Got to put my colors on. I kind of like the look of this new. I don't know if I like the backside though. Blink! I almost bounced off the deck. Ah. All right. So if we come over here, we go here, and we go. Bloop. Geo colors. Now. Did that put... No, it left all the modules, which is interesting. Um... I kind of like that one. These new wings are kind of sweet. I do definitely jive with those new wings. Funny you can put Titan wings on. Oh, but Titan was the low tier ship class. Now these are 
These are pretty neat. I think I had this. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely like the new. <clears throat> the new wing look is good. That was good. Now the question is, do I like big old fat engines? Or this this new kind of Gundam style thing? I think I like the wing on the back. So... So we'll keep that. look nice so do blue I'll leave it blue engines I don't care emissive lights now we have a lot of emissive lights I'll leave them alone I kind of like the ones I've picked um, actually I'm curious though yeah No, I definitely like the the lighter blue. Oh, the purple does look pretty, pretty cool. All right, um, we'll stick with this. I get another passive. Holy shit! I didn't think I'd have another passive. I don't even know how to use another passive. I almost want to do a missile defense system. I've been doing all defensive passive. It's really kind of funny. Um, sure, missile defense, why not? Problem is I don't have a button for this. Missiles have 40% chance to be added to the secondary ammo rather than being destroyed. Every destroyed missile increases the timer by a second and will also attack mines. Now that I don't have the bouncing mine thing, this might be the way to go. And I always hate looking for mines, so we'll throw that in. All right, cool. I kind of want to do resurgence. I've been doing this, which is good. But I feel like resurgence might be nice. Because usually I push it when I'm real low, but. No, I think that's been working out. And I. This thing has been brilliant. There you go. That's the one that Electronus was suggesting. Targeting an enemy closer than 5,000 meters will pull them towards the user. Adds one additional charge. That would actually be kind of nice in those big ass fights because they can get pretty far out there. All right. I still have this striker. Don't use them, but I still have them. All right, cool. Well, I think on that note, we're going to take off here. We'll continue this Thursday. Nice to get back and do this. I know I've been missing out on streams lately, but 
I've been busy. <laughs> Leave me alone. <coughs> and also this weekend I might be traveling, so we'll see. So I might not be around this weekend. Um, going camping, I think. Maybe I'll make up for it on Monday, but we'll see. Um, but it should be a good time. God damn it, I'm poor. I'm so poor right now. Oh, look at all this stuff. I got all this shit. Oh my god. I can probably start selling blue things. I don't even need them anymore. I need to go back here and explore, I think. Well, I don't know, actually. Perhaps we will be forced to go back there eventually anyway. Um... There's still stuff in the Drake system I need to do. Don't know if I'll do it on my own because I don't play very many games when I'm not streaming. That's been the weird thing. I might have to readjust the games that I play. Games like open world games might be bad games for me to play on stream. Mostly because those kinds of games have like too much shit to distract you and do. And I need to play more linear games when I'm streaming. Because then I'll probably have a better chance of completing them on time whatever you want to call on time. Um, whereas when I play an open world game, there's just like, I feel like it's just got a ton. The problem with open world games is they're really cool and they're a lot of fun and exploration is a big thing. But open world games tend to have a lot of like, you know, find 100% of these and you get a bonus or find 100% of those and get a bonus or unlock this and and get a thing that you can grind in order to get these things and make these things easier like they're they're full of mechanics like that and i think my life just doesn't support that anymore as much as i might enjoy them it's kind of the same thing as like arc and survival games um valheim i can't i love those games like hands down <laughs> they are games i really enjoy but at the same time, they are games that I just do not have the time to spend on anymore. They really do like absorb your life if you get really into them. So, so anyways, probably more not world open. Oh, but that's sad though, because Silk, Silk and Song or whatever, the second one is coming out and I really want to play that. That's totally a world exploration game. Metroidvanias, games that I like in that regard. Rogue Legacy, I don't know. But those games like, are kind of okay. I like those on the weekend because I can play them as long as I want and it's not a big problem. But, anywho, I wonder if we'll get to this. Oh, we must get to this system eventually. Just haven't done it yet. want to explore this one more oh yeah what am i doing i still don't know like this one i don't destroy all armor plates of a blood star overseer i don't even know if i've seen a blood star overseer and i don't know how to put debuffs on things or two drones with one mine that's not gonna happen anytime soon um, that's why I just need to do challenges in the Drake system and Yana got a number of things to do, but it shouldn't be too terribly bad. Daredevil. Yeah, fuck this. What do I get for completing these? When first entering a location, gain 50% increased damage for 20 seconds. Eh, don't care. Greatly increased chance of dropping prototype equipment. Eh. Was that discount all equipment items at the Flying Duchess? That one I could probably finish up. I would love to know what a Blood Star Service here is. Anyway, all right, I'm gonna take off. Y'all have a fantastic night. Thanks for hanging out with me for as long as you have and uh yeah i'll catch you thursday and maybe we'll see how much further we get if not completing this on thursday i mean i'm level 20 25 and 
There's 30 levels and it feels like we're kind of getting to the peak of the story here. So I feel like we're getting close to close to being done unless they throw like a curveball in. Hopefully they don't. <laughs> All right. Take care. Bye.